bigger isn't always better, and this can be especially true when it comes to gaming monitors. 4K resolution gets a lot of buzz, and deservedly so. But while it certainly has its upsides, it's so hardware demanding that only the very best graphics cards available will enable you to run 4K games in 60 FPS. So, if you're the type of gamer who takes performance over visuals, then you're likely to want a monitor that isn't 4K but offers much better refresh rates. And this is where the 144Hz and 240Hz monitors come in. But which one of these is better? Stick around to find out! Before we can decide which one is better, we have to explain what exactly refresh rates are, just so that we're all on the same page. You see, a display's refresh rate determines how many times per second it can refresh the displayed image. A monitor with a 60Hz refresh rate refreshes 60 times per second, which is what most monitors have. And this has a lot to do with the FPS. Your GPU may very well be able to render more than 100 frames per second, but if you have a 60Hz monitor, it just won't be able to keep up. And if the frame rate isn't capped, and your GPU is rendering more frames than your monitor can handle, this is what you end up with. This is called screen tearing. You don't want this. So this is where 144Hz and 240Hz monitors come into play. They'll let you experience the best FPS possible and take every advantage you can get in online multiplayer games. But you're still asking yourself, which one of these two is better suited for me? Should I just get one with the bigger refresh rate? Not necessarily. There are a couple of factors you should take into consideration before making a purchase. The first is whether your GPU can handle it. This is something you should be asking yourself even if you're just getting a 144Hz monitor and aren't even considering 240Hz. If you buy either of these monitors but your GPU isn't powerful enough to let you reach the desired frame rates, then you're really not getting your money's worth. The first thing you should do to make sure this doesn't happen is run a benchmark to see how well your GPU will perform on these games you want to play. A lot of games have integrated benchmarks, but there's no need to worry if you're not that tech savvy and don't know how to use this. There are plenty of sites where you can check how your GPU performs on average and we'll even leave a link to one down in the description. The second thing you should ask yourself is, can you see the difference? Even if you can, you might be surprised to find out it just doesn't matter that much to you and that you'd be better off investing the money into some other piece of hardware or peripheral. Bigger hardware stores will usually have models on display that you can check out. And don't get us wrong, the difference is definitely there. These monitors aren't a gimmick, but you might be surprised to see just how subtle these differences may be. And finally, it should come to no surprise that 144Hz monitors are more expensive than regular 60Hz ones. And this applies to 240Hz monitors as well. In the end, it's completely up to you to decide whether they're worth the investment. But the least we can say is just make sure you can see the differences between the two and take full advantage of them. Although, if we were to recommend one of these two, then we'd have to go with the 144Hz monitors, at least for most people. Not only are they more affordable, but it's more likely that you'll be able to get the peak performance out of them. And most importantly, the difference between a 60Hz and a 144Hz monitor is much more noticeable than a difference between a 144Hz monitor and a 240Hz one. Of course, if you're one of the people who have a beastly gaming rig and wouldn't mind in investing into it further, then by all means go for a 240Hz and enjoy your PC gaming in all its master race glory. So what did you think? Does your monitor have either of these refresh rates? And if so, what effect has this had on your gaming performance? We'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.